Hi guys, hopefully all of you are doing well. Remember that eggnog cake that we made in the last video? Of course you do. If you missed it, be sure and check out the links at the end of this video. I'm gonna be showing you how to make my homemade eggnog and it's real simple and easy. Let's get into it. First, we're gonna start by heating up our heavy cream and our milk. I'm using 2%, you can use whole if you wish. So I'm just gonna heat that up over medium heat in a large skillet. While the milk and the heavy cream is coming up to a slow simmer, or I should say a low simmer, I'm going to go ahead and separate my yolks from the egg whites. You need 12. You can always use the egg whites for another dessert, or you can just have some egg white omelets. To the egg yolks, I'm going to go ahead and add the granulated sugar. There is one and a half cups of sugar in the entire recipe. And this recipe makes about 10 8 ounce uh, glasses of eggnog. So I'm just saying that to let you know what you're working with. I would not suggest you cutting back on the sugar the first time you make this either. By the way, you see me using a hand whisk to make this recipe. You can use a hand mixer or a stand mixer. I don't know what I was going for, what I was trying to prove. But anyway, I'm going to check on my milk and it seems to be heated up just fine. And now what I'm gonna do is temper the egg yolks. Tempering the egg yolks just simply means that I'm going to slowly drizzle the hot milk mixture into the eggs while whisking really fast. This is gonna help bring the eggs up to temperature fairly slowly without scrambling the eggs. And by the way, if this process looks familiar, this is the same process of how to make homemade pudding, just minus a couple of ingredients. Now that the egg mixture is all brought up to temperature, we can go ahead and take it and pour it back into the skillet where our remaining milk mixture is and just whisk it in to make sure everything is well incorporated. Now you do have some eggnog um, recipes that are going to be um, raw. They are not cooked. And so this is a cooked version. I'm not gonna be doing a non-cooked version because I don't think a lot of people will be comfortable with that. But there are some out there, all you have to do is Google them. But this is a cooked version of eggnog. And what we're gonna do is heat this up to 160 degrees. You can notice that I'm not bringing things up to a rapid boil. I'm just sitting there and letting it simmer over medium, medium low heat, and it'll come up to temperature just fine. Mine is actually gonna reach over 160. So after that, we're just going to pour it through a sieve into a pitcher, and I'm going to try to bring the temperature down quickly before I put it in the refrigerator. Um, this step you don't necessarily have to do, but I'm just doing it just in case there are some pieces of cooked egg in there, and there weren't. So everything was nice and smooth, and then I'm just gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla. And after this, everything is to your taste. I ended up adding some nutmeg and a little cinnamon. I ended up adding two teaspoons of nutmeg and like a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then I wished I had only added a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. The cinnamon kind of sits in the background behind the nutmeg and actually kind of calms it down to me. It, it They work well together. I think because this drink is dairy-based and it has those eggs and it's so rich, it allows you to have that uh, room to increase the spice if you'd like. Just be sure and give it a taste along the way as you're spicing it up. Um, you can add allspice or cloves. It just depends on how you like spicing things up. And here's where I added that cinnamon. But it still turned out fine and it, it tastes wonderful. Now is not the time to add your add-ins. And when I say add-ins, I mean, you know, your bourbon and your rum and stuff like that. Not now. Right now the eggnog is still warm and you can add in your spices and your vanilla and everything should blend together fairly well. But now what we're going to do is chill it down. What I decided to do was go ahead and give the eggnog an ice bath. So that's a large bowl with some ice. Or if your bowl is bigger, you can make an ice bath in the sink. You just want the ice water to come up halfway the bowl so you can start to bring the temperature down of the eggnog. And that's only because I didn't want to put it in the refrigerator really hot. And then I just chilled it down for a few hours. This was actually overnight. And see how nice and thick and rich it is. It coats the glass really nicely. And you see, now it's time to hit it with some cognac, rum, or bourbon, or a combination of. I won't judge. And for those of you who are lactose intolerant, I'm going to need you to back away with your hands up. Thank you guys so much for joining me. You know I appreciate it when you come cook with me and hang out. Don't forget this recipe and others can be found at gdseasoning.com. And I'll see you guys next time.